Okay, so let's look at another example of a, some taking um, this product of sums equation. Let's make the truth table, and then let's write the sum of products equation. Okay, so in the first one, I'm looking for A or B or C. Well, that one's not going to be true, the 0, 0, 0, so we put a 0 there. All right, the next line, I know that from now on I'm either going to have A or B or C. So I just really have to look and see, do I have not A or do I have B? So do I have, I know I have C, do I have not A? Yes, so that's a 1 here. All right, um, I know that I have B. Do I have not A or do I have B? I actually have both, so that's a 1. All right, do I have, I have B and C, that's no problem. Do I have not A? Yes, I also have B. All right, this one's good. And then do I have not A or do I have B? I don't have either of those, so it's a zero. All right, so now as I move on down, um, I'm good for the first parentheses, then here, not A or B. Do I have one of those? I don't have either. On the next one, I have one from the first term. I don't have not A, but I do have B, so I put a one there, and I'm good on the last one. All right, so this now is my truth table. So we started with the product of sums equation, but now we have this truth table. So if I want to write the sum of products equation, I can, right? So let's think what that'll look like, okay? All right, so this term would be not A, not B, C. This would be not A, B, not C. This would be not A, B, C. This one would be A, B, not C, and A, B, C. So we would write that as Y is equal to not A, not B, C, or not A, and B, and not C, or not A, and B, and C, or A, B, not C, or A, B, C. Okay, so I hope that helps and gives you a little inf information on how to go from POS to truth table and then to SOP.